Folks, my next guest tonight is a stand-up comedian whose special, Bothering Jesus, is now on Netflix. Please welcome Kathleen Madigan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, thank you. Wow, that's more than I expected. Uh, thank you. So it's nice to be here. This is a fun night. I just got back. I did a bunch of shows in Canada. And uh, yeah, that's right, Canada. It was a lot of fun and it was refreshing because I got to watch their news instead of our news. And here's the greatest thing their leader, Justin Trudeau, is, yeah. He's 46 years old. And I thought, that's good. That's a good age, because he's young. Because I don't know, I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican, but I think the people governing us in this country, the age is getting out of control. I think everybody is a little too old. I mean, Trump, you go, well, he's 72. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, I don't know how old she is, but I know her teeth don't fit right. I know that. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Nancy. I'm completely crazy. Let's... Let's talk about insurance. Um, <laughs> Diane Feinstein is 85. Orrin Hatch is 84 and was thinking about running again. No, Papa, no. <laughs> You're done. You go home now. That's what people do when they're 84. You don't get to run again. At one point, he took imaginary glasses off of his head and return them to his head. Okay, okay, you're out now. That's it, you're out. Literally, we are being governed by a Florida bridge club and nobody seems to care. And I am not saying old people don't have value. They do. I mean, my parents are in their 70s, and they're smart, and they're fun. But I can also tell you from hanging out with my parents who are in their 70s that older people have really good hours, not whole days. They, they are not stringing it together anymore. Like, from 10 to 2, my parents are on fire. Seriously, they are. You can, they, you can call them. They know who's calling. They know... They have answers to questions, but after two, they may or may not know where their vehicle is. I, I just, I think, and the problem is when you have old people governing you, you have old people ideas. What was one of Trump's big ideas? He's still saying it at rallies. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to bring back coal mining. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have like millions and millions of coal mining jobs. Young people are going to love me for that. You know why you think that, Papa? Because you're old. That's why you think that. Because, because, yeah. Because I have met 20 zillion millennials on the road, and I have not yet met one that I think would ex be excited to be a coal miner. And <laughs> nor should they be excited. I would give everything I make in a week just to see their reaction to the actual job description of coal mining. <laughs> Standing there with their phones going, wait, what? <laughs> you want me to get in a roller coaster in the daytime and go in the earth to get rocks? <laughs> well, will my phone work down there? Because I, I won't do it if I can't Snapchat. That's my deal breaker, I won't do it. And that's what I love about millennials. They won't do it. They set a bar. Whether it's smart or dumb, they do it. You could, you could tell them, look, if you don't go in the earth and get the rocks, you're not going to have any heat. And they go, that's okay. I have an app for that. <laughs> I'll just sleep with my parents. They're super warm. I really like them. They're great people. I'm tired of the old people ideas. I'm sick of it. Jeff Sessions, the Attorney General of the United States, I don't even know how, how old he is because I think he's from Lord of the Rings, which makes him eternal. But, but here's his biggest concern. My biggest concern in the United States of America is cracking down on marijuana. Pot? The stores are open, Pawpaw. Cat, the, the cat's out of the bag. And I'm 
I'm not even a pot person. I, I could care less. I, I just, it's not my thing. But the argument against it is what I always thought was so ridiculous because it, it's just hysterical. Usually, It's usually an old person on the floor of a Senate losing their mind about legalizing pot. You can't legalize marijuana. It is a gateway drug. It is a gateway drug. If you smoke marijuana, the next thing you know, you will be shooting heroin in a crack house in Cleveland with a dog named Banjo you didn't even adopt. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Who, who, and your premise is terrible. That is a horrible argument because the premise is bad. You can't say everything is a gateway to everything else. It's just not true. When you were five and you stole a candy bar and you ate it and it was delicious, was your next thought, you know what? I'm going to kill a drifter. <laughs>